hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out the heroes amongst us and this is the incident that happened at bamba bridge and you guys i'm super excited as always if you are here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and if you are interested in this video let's see how the american soldiers turned against each other because of racism if you are ready i'm ready guys heroes among us stories of courage patriotism and sacrifice but to incident at bamba bridge hi i'm mitch Maki, president of go for broke national education center we tell the story of the Japanese American soldiers of World War II, of their courage, patriotism, and sacrifice as they upheld America's promise. The promise that in our nation, no one is to be judged by the color of their skin, of the nation of their mm -hmm. origin, or the God whom they choose to no worship. One is to judge. As we all know, our nation is currently struggling with a crisis of conscience. Despite the promise of America, not all individuals in our nation have been embraced by the American value of That's equality. True. In recognition and support of the black community, Go For Broke National Education Center will be sharing stories of black American soldiers during World War II, of their courage, of their patriotism, and of their sacrifice. They upheld America's promise and in doing so, provide us today with a moral sense of direction. During World War II, black American servicemen stationed in England were generally welcomed by their British hosts in ways that were completely opposite of the Jim Crow segregationist practices back in America. Black GIs would drink and socialize in mixed company in British pubs where they were not only allowed to enter, but were warmly welcomed by the locals. Black soldiers saw around them a very different reality from that which they faced at home, a non-segregated society where they were welcomed as fellow fighters against fascism rather than second-class soldiers. The U.S. Army authorities, however, did not condone this equal treatment. Why? 1943. The 1511th Quartermaster Truck Regiment, a segregated black unit, was stationed outside the town of Bamber Bridge. U.S. military authorities demanded that the town's pubs impose racial restrictions. The three village pubs responded with signs that read, Black Troops Only. On the evening of June 24th, Black troops and white locals were enjoying themselves at the Old Hob Inn. At closing time, white military police arrived and tried to arrest Private Eugene Nunn, a black American soldier, for not wearing the proper uniform. But they were faced with white British soldiers, both male and female, who sided with Nunn and his fellow soldiers. The incident escalated into a fist fight and the military police were beaten back. Later, the MPs returned with reinforcements and a battle developed in the street. Shots were fired and Private William Crossland, one of the black soldiers, died with a bullet in his back. Four other injuries to black American soldiers occurred in a five-hour confrontation which ended at the Adams Hall Army Camp. The events of that night led to the death of one black soldier, significant injuries to several others, and the convictions of 27 black American soldiers, which would later be commuted or overturned. The events in Bamber Bridge highlighted the vexing paradox of race relations and prejudice at the time. Despite the open-armed welcome from British citizens, 
the U.S. Army uniform provided no protection Absolutely from the racist no attitudes protection. embodied by the U.S. Army authorities. Right. After their service, black soldiers returned stateside with little tolerance for the pervasive and prejudiced Jim Crow laws. But they soon discovered once again that their service provided no protection from the discrimination and racial violence that still permeated America. The harsh reality was that some black veterans were to be lynched, a harrowing image of suppression and racial intolerance. So bad. The struggle for equality and social justice continues on today. We at Go For Broke National Education Center honor these black American soldiers of World War II who served and sacrificed for our nation. And we continue our commitment to ensuring America's promise. You guys, that was such a touching, a very sad story. The fact that both soldiers are from America and they turned against themselves just because of the color of their skin or their religious background. It's so heart-wrenching. I don't even know how to feel about what I just listened to. It's absolutely wrong because the British people who are also white accepted these soldiers without even judging their skin color, how much more the Americans that are the same nationality have to judge their own people because they just want to be segregated. They will just want to belong to the white race. This is such a sad one. And I feel so sorry for those who witnessed this in that 1943. And I feel so sorry for those who witnessed this and the soldiers who incurred major injuries during this whole fuckers. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so, so dumbfounded with these findings. You guys, I have never been able to wrap my mind around the cause of racism, why people are so racist. Oh my God, this is such a sad one. And it made me so sad, actually. And the most annoying part was that 27 of the black soldiers were convicted. For what? For what exactly? Because they didn't even start this whole fight. They didn't even... Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts about this whole racism issue in America. Do you think it's going to ever come to an end or it's getting worse by the day? Let me know your thoughts actually in the comment section. And... I really had fun reacting to this video. If you guys enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And this is me officially signing out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.